Welcome to the second part of my demonstration about the brand monitoring. So far we have a very simple process. So we have uh, operator for searching Twitter and adding that to Solar. Well, this is not really using RapidMiner to its full extent. So RapidMiner by itself is a full-grown analytics solution. And what we can do is a lot of text mining there. So you might know that already. I won't elaborate on that, but what I did is I created a support vector model for classifying my tweets into sentiments. So whether the tweet talks positive about Rapid Miner or negative. So it's not a very good model yet because I didn't read a lot of tweets, um, but I want to show you how it works. So I created this model and saved it. And additionally, I created a small process that now allows me to score texts using that model. So I open this small process. All that it does is it gets in the data. So this will be our our Twitter data, right? Uh, containing the texts. And then we will retrieve uh, the word list, process the documents here, as you might know from the text processing extension, and reading the support vector machine model in here and applying that model. Afterwards, I'm just, you know, doing some changes, uh, throwing away all the uh, unnecessary columns or the word vector columns and stuff and joining together the additional information so it's very important the actual sentiment and the grade of positivity in the sentiment in the in the tweet and adding that to the original data and this is out the output of the process okay so it's now very simple to integrate that in my process let me show you so i will open the our small update process again and in between here we want to add the sentiment. All I do is I drag the prepared process right here on the connection line and uh, paste it here and then there will automatically um, be created the operator of this process. And you see it just um, gets the data in and it will add the sentiment score. And all that we now need to do is we need to tell it which actually is the text column um, by using nominal to text because this small process is configured to change every or to, to use every single text attribute. And that's it. If I now execute this process I will also get a sentiment classification. I see here that I not only have the text and all the other informations we already know from Twitter, but I also have sentiment column here uh, together with a positivity. And you see that a positivity smaller than 0 0.5 uh, results in a negative sentiment classification. And all that is now also part of Solar. Okay, great. So let's come, let's come to our next topic. So actually, we now have all the data, but uh, I want to now see how many how many tweets there are, and I want to do full text search. So I want to s add, for example, operator to find all the tweets that are about a particular operator or about operators. Therefore, I will create a new process. And use the search solar operator. Track it in the process. I choose the connection again. I choose the collection. And then I can enter a query term. So this is using this very powerful solar query syntax uh, where I can, for example, say something like uh, text should contain something like, um, well, what about Xmas? So it's about Xmas times, so let's search how many tweets of Rapid Miner are about Xmas. Simply connect the output of the operator and execute it. So, and then you see that we have 26 tweets talking about Xmas, having somewhere Xmas in uh, the, the tweet. Okay, that's already pretty easy, right? So, um, that's one thing, but if I want to know how many of them are talking positively or negative. So let's uh, see 
how we can do that. So there is the possibility to include a fa so-called faceted search here. And then I can tell him, okay, count me the hits from that search um, according to categories. So I will now add the category sentiment. And then there is a second output of the port of the operator that not only gives us the texts but also the counts. And now I see, okay, 16 people like Christmas or they had a, were in a good mood, while 10, well, might not be so optimistic about Christmas. So I will save this small process now. And in the third part, we will see how we can use that very simple process to build us an interactive web application where we can access the solar index and use it for finding all the, all the tweets we push them there regularly.